Well, we're talking about different levels of vibration. So on earth here, when uh, people die, in virtually all religions, there is some uh, recognition that there's some continuation of life. Uh, exactly what it is, it varies by culture, by religion, but essentially there's, a, there's an agreement that there's some kind of continuation. But where is that? We don't know where it is. Or we, we, it's got to be somewhere, doesn't it? Logically, mm -hmm. it must be somewhere. And so we would say that that is on another level of vibration. So we live here for a time, all of us, on this level of vibration. When we pass on, we go to another level of vibration. And we live there for a period of time before we're reborn back on this level This of is vibration. what some uh, mediums might call the spirit realms. Yeah, that's right, the spirit realms. In this room right now where we are, it's, it's obviously a temple here in, in Hollywood. But on another level of vibration, it could be a meadow, it could be a lake, it could be a building mm -hmm. of some other kind for mm -hmm. some other purpose. And the way Dr. King described this, and we'll introduce Dr. King a bit more fully in a moment, he talked about these levels of vibration kind of fitting into one another and one fills in the spaces within the other, almost like a comb, or two combs rather, that you put together in the teeth of one fitted into the space mm -hmm. of the other. And so that's how you can have these multiple levels of vibration, higher and lower, mm -hmm. uh, existing within the same space. The reason I'm going into this is to say that if all of these different levels of vibration exist here on Earth, logically, it, it seems reasonable that they would also exist on other planets. Really, we would say that these other planets in our solar system are teeming with life, and not just microbial life, but advanced, highly intelligent life uh, and way, way, way more advanced than us here on Earth. 